Hi students, let us continue the trigonometry. That is particularly graph of the trigonometry functions. In a previous video, we have taken that what is the domain of the trigonometry functions, what is the range of the trigonometry functions, and as well as sine function graph we also said. In this video, let us continue the graph of the cosine function. So, graph of the cosine function, I just consider let y is equal to y of x is equal to cos of x. As I mentioned, or uh, as you people know that how to draw the graph of the sine function in the same manner, we are also need to draw the graph of the cos function. Take the values for x and corresponding values of y. So x value I just take angle zero degree, pi by two, pi three pi by two, and two pi. Similarly, negative angles minus pi by two, minus pi. Minus three pi by two and the minus two pi corresponding y value. Wherever x is there, replace zero. What is the cos of zero? Cos of zero is one. Next, cos of pi by two, cos ninety is zero. Next, cos of one eighty, cos of one eighty is minus one. Cos of three pi by two, what is the cos of two seventy? Zero. And cos of two pi, cos of three sixty is one. Next. And as well as we know that cos of minus theta. What is the cos of minus theta? Cos of minus theta is plus cos of theta. So cos of minus theta is cos theta. So first we can make them same. So that is nothing but cos of pi by two is zero. Cos of one eighty is minus one. Cos of three pi by two is zero. Cos of minus two pi. Minus two pi is nothing but in a clockwise direction it completes one rotation. This is the minus two pi. Okay, anyhow, so cos of minus two pi is plus one. Now plot the points, corresponding points. I just consider the x y coordinate plane. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. Positive side of the x axis, negative side of the x axis. Positive side of the y axis, negative side of the y axis. So I just consider one centimeter is equal to ninety degree on the x-axis. So it is a pi by two, pi, three pi by two, and the two pi. Negative side minus pi by two, minus pi, minus three pi by two, and the minus two pi. Okay. On the y-axis, one centimeter is equal to one. Unit. Okay. Oh, this is our value. I just consider. Let's plot the points now. X comma y. X comma y is nothing but zero comma one. X value zero. Y value one. That is the point. This is our point. Next. Pi by two comma zero. Pi by two comma zero. Point on the x-axis. Pi comma minus one. Pi comma minus one. Minus one is nothing but below the x-axis. Three pi by two comma zero. Three pi by two comma zero. Point on the x-axis. 2 pi comma 1, 2 pi comma 1 point on above the x-axis. So shall I join these points as a straight line or a curve? Here is a curve. Why? Because in between 0 to pi by 2, there are so many angles are there. For example, if you consider 30 degree, 45 degree, what is the cos of 45? Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 is there. And apart from that, cos of 60. What is the cos of 60? Cos 60 is 1 by 2. 1 by 2, and this is the value. So like that, a curve is comes. So that I just join in this manner. It continues up to an infinity. So it continues. Similarly, in this chapter. Minus pi by two comma minus pi by two comma zero point on the x-axis negative axis minus pi minus pi two minus one minus pi pi comma minus one this is equal minus three pi by two comma zero at on the x-axis minus two pi comma one minus two pi comma plus one so these are the values joining by the curve. Already you got the point pi is not a straight line. Pi is a curve because there are so many values are there in between. So that here also we can extend up to an infinity. 
So this is the graph of the cosine function or just a cos of x. So here you can observe that maximum value and the minimum value. Domain you can observe that from this graph, domain of the cos function. What is the domain of the cos function? Set up all the real number. That means x values. Have taken x values from all the real number. Here it is positive infinity. Here it is negative infinity. Similarly, domain is over. Range. Range is nothing but y value. Y value lies in between pair to pair. It is lies in between plus one to minus one or minus one to plus one. In that interval only, it is very oscillating. So that the range of the function is minus one to plus one, including the minus one, including the plus one, in between all the values. Next, periodic function. So what is a periodic function? A function which repeats its value after definite interval of time. Yes, repeats it, repeats its value from where, where, from zero to three sixty. Observe that zero to three sixty, zero to three sixty. The same graph is carries zero to three sixty. Same graph is carries zero to three sixty like that. It is a periodic function like that. We will get the values. Okay, this is the graph of the cosine function. Just remember. Okay. Now the next function graph is tan. Yes, let y is equal to tan of x. Now corresponding x and y values value. The same exercise is considered zero pi by two pi three pi by two two pi and negative angles minus pi by two minus two pi. Minus three pi by two minus two pi. Corresponding y values. Write the y values. What is the tan of zero? Tan zero is zero. Tan of ninety is not defined. Tan of one eighty is zero. Tan of three pi by two. Here it is concerned negative infinity. Tan of two pi three sixty is zero. And here negative angles are there. So what is the tan of minus two? Tan of minus two is minus tan of because four quadrant tan is negative. Okay, tan of minus two is minus tan. For these all values, it is sufficient to multiply the negative values. Okay, zero into negative. Here it is minus infinity. Here it is zero. Here it is a plus infinity. Here values will change. How they change? Check it. And apart from that, zero to pi by two, we have just taken one standard angles, thirty degree, forty five degree, and sixty degree. Uh, what is the Value will come to know in the graph itself. Okay. I just consider the x and y axis. This is the positive side of the x axis, negative side of the x axis. Positive side of the y axis, negative side of the y axis. One centimeter is equal to ninety degree. Pi by two, pi three pi by two, and the two pi. Similarly, negative side minus pi by two. Minus pi minus three pi by two and minus two pi on the y axis. What are the values? Zero to infinity is that. Zero to negative infinity is that. So I just take the one, two, three, so on up to infinity. So on up to infinity. Here also minus one, minus two, so on up to negative infinity. So here negative infinity is that. Okay. So plot the points. So x comma y points, which is plotted, what will get? Check it. So zero x comma y, x comma y is zero comma zero. Zero comma zero is nothing but there is a point at the origin. Next, pi by two comma infinity. Ah, huh. pi by two comma infinity. Positive to infinity infinity. It is a positive. Where it is, it is here. Ah, uh, no. Can I join these two points by a straight line or a curve? For come to know that whether it is a straight line or a curve, let's take the sum angles. That is 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree. What is the tan of 30? Here it is the angle is there. What is the tan of 30? Uh, tan of 30. Here I am just write the y value. What is the tan of 30? Tan of 30 is 1 divided by 2 to 3. Tan of 45 is 1. Tan of 60 is root three. Yes, plot these points. What will get? Check it. I just considered here 30 degree, here 45 degree, and here is a 60 degree. Okay. 
x value 30, y value 1 by root 3. Now, 1 by root 3 is less than 1 or more than 1. So, 1 divided by root 3 value is 1 point. 2, 1.3 something will get Okay, so 1 divided by more than that, obviously it is 0 point, less than 1 only. So it is less than 1 approximately here. And come for the 45 degree. What is the 45 degree? 45 comma 1, 45 degree x comma 1, 45 comma 1. Here is the value. Next, 60, root 3. Root 3 value is more than 1. Root 3 value is more than 1. Root 3 value is more than 1. This is how the graph of the tan function. So, join. So, here not only the 30, 45, 60, 90, in between there are so many numbers are there. We can call it as a infinite number of real numbers are there. So, that is 0, 1 degree, 2 degree. These are the finite numbers which is taken. So, like that 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, like that 0 0.01, 0 0.02, like that all the values will get it. So, that is a because what is the domain of the tan function? Domain of the tan function is all the real number except the odd multiple of pi by 2 x is equal to 2 n minus 1 into pi by 2 pi by 2 will be the 90 degree means at the 90 degree it will get the infinity so that we are neglecting so anyhow what is the graph graph of the tan function will comes like this it is in the first part now come for the second part the second part will be uh, not a second part right? In negative side, but instead of knowing that pi by 2 to pi, let's come for this one minus pi by 2, comma 0. This is 90 degree infinity. Now minus pi by 2, minus pi by 2, comma infinity. Minus pi by 2, comma infinity is a positive value or negative value? It is a negative value. At the pi, it is 0. It is negative infinity. 3 pi by 2, it is infinity and it is a 0. Point. So here, tan of minus pi is minus tan pi. Tan of minus pi by 2 is minus tan of pi by 2. Tan pi by 2 is infinity, so it comes a negative. So obviously, you can take the minus 30 degree, minus 45 degree, minus 60 degree. Here also, it will become the negative values. In that manner, I will stay for in this way the graph. Okay. Here, observe that. Come for the quadrants. In what are the quadrants tan is supposed to? In a first quadrant as well as in the third quadrant, tan is positive. Remaining all the quadrant, tan is negative. Okay. 0 to pi by 2, which quadrant? 0 to pi by 2 is nothing but which quadrant? 0 to pi by 2 is nothing but first quadrant. Okay. And suppose the angle it will be taken minus 30 degree, minus 45 degree, minus 60 degree. Comes in a which quadrant? It comes in the fourth quadrant because angle is measuring in the clockwise direction. So, in the fourth quadrant, tan is negative or positive? It is negative. So, come for the graph. Observe the graph. 0 to minus pi by 2, fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant, tan is negative. Do you know the y values are negative? Y values are negative. And the fourth quadrant? Yes, y values are negative. So, just take a that. Here, all students are, all are positive. Here, sin and that reciprocal is positive. Here, tan and that reciprocal part is positive. Here, cos and that reciprocal set is positive. So, we just take that. So, this point is clear from graph also. In a first quadrant, tan is positive. In a fourth quadrant, tan is negative. So, that y values are negative. Are you sure? In the same way. Next one. Pi by 2 comma pi. Pi by 2 comma pi is nothing but second quadrant. Second quadrant, tan is positive or negative? Pi by 2 comma pi. Tan is negative. Okay. Tan of pi, pi comma 0, pi comma 0 is here. Pi by 2, I just take a post value. Uh, pi by 2 comma post value. Can I consider this one? No, which is not possible to join in this manner, which is not possible. Pi is. So more than a 90 degree. More than a 90 degree means I just take that some angles, for example, tan of 120. What is the tan of 120 value? Tan of 120 means, suppose it comes at here, I just add the 120 down here. What is the value? Tan of 120. 120 is not a standard angle. Split into standard angle. How? Using the angle. That is 180 minus of 60. What is the tan of 180 minus theta? 180 minus second quadrant. Tan is negative. 180 is the tan means the tan theta. Minus of this. 
tan of 60. What is the tan of 60? Tan 60 is root 3. Ah, tan of 120 degree. What is the value? Minus root 3. Tan of 120 is minus root 3. Minus root 3 comes here. Here this comes minus root 3. More than the 1. Are you clear? Suppose if you want to take that another value, take it another value. What is another value means? Tan of 150. What is the tan of 150? Where is the tan of? Where is the 150? 150 is here. Here it is a 180. 150 is here. What is the tan of 150? Split it into the other angle. Tan of 180 minus 30 degree. 180 minus 30 is the tan is the Second quadrant tan is equal to tan of 30 with an equal sign. Minus as it is tan 30 is 1 divided by root 3. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. 1 divided by root 3. Uh, tan of 120 is minus root 3. Tan of 120 is minus 1 by root 3. Minus 1 by root 3. Points are clear. Are you clear? Like that, the values will come in this quadrant. So, in this manner. So, I just write this one. Joining these values. Okay. Are you sure? And again, I am just telling that 5 by 2, how infinity is that? What you are writing? Negative value. Why? 5 by 2, how 5? It is a second quadrant. Tan is negative. And you are just taken some examples. Tan of 150, tan of 150. Then you use the negative values. Remaining all values in between the 90 to 180 is also negative. So that reason it is a negative sign. Now, 5 to 3 pi by 2. 5 to 3 pi by 2 is nothing but which quadrant? It is in the third quadrant. Third quadrant tan is equals to. So let's find the some values for tan which comes in the third quadrant value. What is the third quadrant value? Tan to e is 1 to 10. Tan of 2 10. What is the tan of 2 10? Split into a right angle. Tan of 180 plus 30. That is the tan of 180 plus theta. 180 plus third quadrant tan is supposed to 180 is the tan remains the tan, tan of 30. What is the tan of 30? 1 divided by 3. So tan of 210, 210 comma 1 by 3, 210 comma 1 by 3 point is here. Similarly, if you consider the tan of 240, what is the tan of 240? Tan of 180 plus 60. Tan of 180 plus 60. 180 plus third quadrant tan is equals to. So that tan 60. Tan 60 value is root 3 positive value. Okay, positive value. Tan of 240. 240 is here. 240 comma root 3. 240 comma root 3. Root 3 is more than 1. Here is the value. So joining all this one. So in the same manner, 180 to 270, we can take the separate values. All those values which gives the first value which comes in this manner. So this is the graph of the tan function in the interval 5 by 2 comma 3 by 2. Similarly, 3 pi by 2 comma 2, 2 pi. That means 270 to 360. 270 to 360. Take the two values 270 to 360. What are the values means? 270. Uh, consider the tan of 300. What is the tan of 300? Split it with the help of the right angle. Tan of 360 minus of 60. Or else you can split it as 270 plus of 30. In that way also. If you consider the 270, tan is changes to quarters. Instead of considering that one, I just take the 360. 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta, 2 quadrant, tan is negative. Uh, 360 is that tan remains to tan, tan of 60. What is the tan of 60? Root 3 with the negative sign. So, what is the value? 300. It is a 270. 300 is here. Uh, so, 300 comma minus root 3. 300 comma minus root 3 comes in here. It is more than the minus 1. Minus root 3. Uh, less than the minus 1. So, here it comes here. In the same manner, values are comes in this manner and 2 pi, more than the 2 pi, complete root function, more than 2 pi, first quadrant, it continues like this. So, in the same manner, so again I am just saying that you might have a confusion, so more than 90 pi by 2 comma plus to infinity, don't take it because in the second quadrant, tan is going to come for the negative values. Similarly, on the negative side also, we can write it. How do we write the negative side? Means, here we can take it as a quadrant. 
if I'm doing zero, the angle in a clockwise direction, what will get? Here it is a zero, and here it is a minus pi by two, minus pi, minus three pi by two, and minus two pi. Quadrant will be same. Nothing will change in the quadrant. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. But angle and this will change in the clockwise direction. Okay, come to here. So minus pi comma zero. What is the minus pi comma zero? Point on the x-axis. It will be minus pi to minus pi by two. Which quadrant? Minus pi by two comma minus pi. Which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant. Tan is first two. So that third quadrant tan is first two. So then this will come in this manner. And minus pi to three pi by two. Minus pi to three pi by two. Which quadrant? Second quadrant. Second quadrant tan two is are negative. Second quadrant tan two is are negative. In the same manner, minus three pi by two comma minus two pi. Minus three pi by two comma minus two pi. Which quadrant? First quadrant tan is plus two. First quadrant tan is plus two. In that, if you extend this one, you get in this manner. So this is the graph of the tan function. So here. From this graph, we will get clarified several things. That is, I just write the so this is the graph of the tan function. Now, first point is periodic function. Tan is a periodic function which reflects its value after a one eighty degree. Check it. Graph of the one eighty degree interval. Minus pi to pi, minus pi by two to pi by two plus pi by two, minus pi by two to plus pi by two. One eighty degree. So one eighty degree. Whatever the graph is there, same is there. The same graph is carries for the pi by two to three pi by two. Same thing is there. Again the same thing like that. It is a periodic function. After it repeats its value after one eighty degree. Now. What is the domain? Domain is nothing but x values. All the real number at the sub the odd multiple of pi by two plus sub n. Where the value gives the pi by two infinity, leave that value remaining all the real numbers. And the range, range. What is the range? Set up all the real number. Y values are you getting all the real number? Zero, one, two, three, so on up to positive infinity. Similarly, minus one, minus two, minus three, so on up to negative infinity. Y value is taking all the real number. So range of the tan function is real number like that. So very important graph. So if you remember the graph, the several points we can easily get. So this is the graph of the tan function. So simultaneously, we just draw the graphs of the each functions. Okay. Now let's move to the next function that is cot function graph. Yes. Let y is equal to cot of x. So as you people observe that domain and ranges of the trigonometric functions, sine function, cos function are the same domain, and tan function and cot function little bit same. Only thing change in the tan is not defined for odd multiples of pi by two. Cot is not defined for integral multiple of pi. Similarly, sec and cosec. Sec and cosec are almost the same, but here it is not defined for all the integral multiple of pi by two. Here it is integral uh, inti odd multiple of pi by two. Here it is integral multiple of pi. So graph will be same. For sine and cos of the same graph, but little bit one interval which is need to same. And similarly, here tan and cot also will get the same manner. How will you get? Check it. I just take the y is equal to cot x, and we know that cot of minus theta is the cot of minus theta fourth quadrant. Cot is negative minus cot of theta. Here, I just want to draw the graph very quickly. Write the values. We also simultaneously write the values of x and y. So same angles I just consider x. Values are zero pi by two. It is zero pi three pi by two two pi negative angles minus pi by two minus pi minus three pi by two and minus two pi. Corresponding value. So zero part of zero part of zero is not defined. Tan of two uh, sorry part of pi by two is zero part of pi not defined three pi by two zero it is. 
not take one. Similarly, part of minus theta. What is the part of minus theta? Minus part theta. Negative like is here. It is a zero minus infinity. Zero here. It is a minus infinity. So depending upon the quadrant, it will be changed. Let's move to the graph. So same manner. Consider the x and y axis. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. Positive side of the x axis. Negative side of the x axis. Positive side of the y axis, negative side of the y axis. On the x axis, 1 cm is equal to 90 degree. Pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, and 2 pi. Here it is minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, and minus 2 pi. Similarly, on the y axis, 1, 2, so on up to infinity. It is of positive infinity and here negative side minus 1 minus 2 is on up to negative infinity. So here it is a negative infinity. Now plot the points 0, infinity, 0, infinity. That is that this is the point. On increasing the x value, the y value is also increasing. Don't touch the don't touch the y Okay. Pi by 2 comma 0. Pi by 2 is here at the 0 is there. In between 0 to pi by 2, some standard angles are there. What is the cot of 30 degree? Uh, what is the cot of 30 degree? Cot of 30 degree. Uh, so, cot of 30 degree is value how much? Cot of 40 by degree is how much? And cot of 60 is how much? Okay. So, cot 40 by is 1. Okay. And cot of 30 degree. Cot of 30 degree is nothing but reciprocal of tan. Tan of 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Part of 30 degree is root 3. Root 3 is nothing but more than the 1 here. Part 45 is 1. Part of 60 is 1 by root 3. This is all. So, joining these all points. Joining all these points. This is how the graph is comes. In the first quadrant, this is the graph. Similarly, come to the pi by 2 to pi. Pi by 2 to pi is nothing but which quadrant? Here it is a 0, pi by 2, and the pi. Second quadrant. Second quadrant part is positive or negative? Negative. So negative means it comes in, in this direction. Check it. Pi by 2 to pi. Pi by 2 to pi is nothing but pi more than the 90. I just take the cot of 120. What is the cot of 120? Using the allied angle, split it. Cot 120 degree. 180 minus of 60. What is the 180 minus of 60 with the cot ratio? 180 minus 60. 180 minus second quadrant, cot is negative minus. 180 is the cot remains a cot, cot of 60. What is the cot of 60? 1 divided by root 3. 1 divided by root 3. Cot of 120 is 1 divided by root 3. Here is the point. Similarly, let's just take the part of 150. What is the part of 150? Part of 180 minus of 30 degree. Second quadrant part is negative. Part of 30 with negative sign. So minus part 30. Minus as it is part 30 is nothing but root 3. Minus root 3. More than the 1. More than the minus 1. Minus root 3 at the part of 150. So here is a point. Like that, it continues. This is the graph of the part function. So, so in the same manner, pi to 3 pi by 2, pi to 3 pi by 2, which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant part is first two. So that I am just going to add directly the graph of the part function. So here the same relation carries. Same next and with the negative sign. Come for the negative values. What we get? Check. Minus pi by 0 to minus pi by 0 to minus pi by 2. Which quadrant? Fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant part is negative or positive? Negative. The values will come in this manner. And minus, zero, minus pi by 2 to minus pi. Which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant part is positive. Third quadrant part is positive. 
this is the balance that comes. In the same manner, here is the graph of the quarter function. This is the graph of the quarter function, which reflects its value after a 1 unit, 0 to pi, pi to 2 pi, and minus pi to 0, minus 2 pi to minus pi. So it is reducing it value after a 1 unit. And Domain all the real number as of the integral multiple of by range whole real number 7. Okay, this is the graph of the bottom function. Okay, clear, very easy. And if you know the standard values, you can easily draw. So here also the 0 pi is just pi by 2 pi at the pi. Here I just return of positive ready, but it comes a negative. Pi is concentrated, it means observe that here also. And write it as a negative because pi by 2 to pi. Pi by 2 to pi is nothing but what? Pi by 2 to pi is nothing but the second quadrant. Second quadrant is negative sir. On seeing this graph also, we can take a pi whether it is a positive or a negative value. Okay. So here it is a negative. Pi to 3 pi by 2. After taking one sign, I am just taking the negative 20. One sign is taking the positive 20 because less than the 1 in degree, more than the 1 in degree, it is a difference. So it is less than 1 in degree. So Second quadrant, part is three. more than the 180 degree, more than the 180, which comes in the third quadrant, part is positive. So that is it. Okay. So now let's go to the graph of the set function. Yes, before going to the set function graph, we can observe that graph of the tan and the part function. What is the difference between the graph of the tan function and the part function? Is just the one interval is interchange. One interval. Here tan function graph value comes in this manner. I just write dotted lines for the graph of the tan function. Tan, this is the tan function graph or better writing. Now here this is the graph of the tan function minus pi by 2 and here it is a pi pi by 2 pi and 3 pi by 2. But observe here what happens? Let it and will change the, the same shape is that but opposite and one 0 to pi pi to 2 pi here minus pi by 2 to pi like that and similarly a sine function cos function graph also same sine function from 0 onwards the shape is like this but cos function graph is from in this manner is that so same values but a little bit change okay now let's move to the graph of the set function Okay, so we can write the values, x values are same and corresponding y values. What are the corresponding y values for the function set? So let set of x is equal to y, set of minus theta. What is the set of minus theta? It is the fourth quadrant, set is positive because set is the reciprocal of cos. Okay. Set of 0. It is, it is sufficient to remember the cos values. You can easily write the set value. Cos 0 is 1, set 0 is also 1. Cos of 90 is uh, cos of 90 is 0, set 90 is not uh, defined. Uh, cos of 180 is minus 1, set of 180 is also minus 1. Cos of 270 is 0 and set of 270 is infinity. Cos of 360 is 1, sec of 360 is also 1. And the same values carries for the minus theta and the plus theta because sec of minus theta is plus sec of theta. Same values I am just going to write infinity minus 1, infinity plus 1. Let's take the graph of the set function. So consider the xy coordinate plane, positive x axis, negative x axis. Positive y axis, negative y axis. So on the x axis, 1 centimeter is equal to 90 degree. On the negative side of the x axis, minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, and the minus 2 pi. On the y axis, 1. First infinity negative is that. So 1, 2, up to a infinity. Here it is minus 1, minus 2, up to a negative infinity. Now, plot the points. 0, 1. What is the 0, 1? X value 0, y value is 1. 0, 1. Similarly, pi by 2, infinity. Pi by 2, infinity. 
point is here. Joining the points, straight line or a curve, it is obviously the curve because check it 30 degree, 45 degree, and the 60 degree. What is the sec curve to 30 degree? Sec 30 degree is nothing but 2 divided by root 3. And sec curve of 45 is root 2. And sec of 60 degree is nothing but sec of 30 degree is just a 2. Are you clear? First of all, 2 divided by root 3, root 2 and the 2. 60 common 2, 60 common 2, point this comes up here. 45 comma root 2, root 2 is more than 1, root 2 is more than 1. And 2 by root 3, 2 divided by 1.2 like that. So it is obviously the more than 1, obviously it is a more than 1. Similar, if you come for the negative values, similarly if you consider minus 30 degree, minus 45 degree, minus 60 degree. Will you get the same values? Because sec of minus theta is plus sec theta. So here it is the same value. That means the graph of the sec function is carries in this manner. Here, in a both quadrant, 0 to minus 5 by 2, sec is first. Similar, we can check the values more than the 90 degree. More than the 90 degree means what? Uh, if I consider 120, what is the sec of 120? Sec of 120 is nothing but the sec of 180 minus of 60. Second, third, second quarter, sec is negative minus sec of 60. So, sec of 60 is 2. So, it is minus. So, 120 it is a minus 2. Like that. Here, this comes all are negative. And here, sec of 180 is minus 1. Minus 1 is here. This is how the graph will come. You can cross verify. And here, it is come from a negative side. Sec of minus 5, minus 5 comma minus 1 is that, minus 5 comma minus 1 is that here. And minus 3 pi by 2 by infinity, 3 pi by 2 comma, first infinity or minus infinity, check. Minus 5 to minus 3 pi by 2, which quadrant? Here it is measuring, inverse is measuring in a clockwise direction, minus 5, minus 3 pi by 2 and the minus 2 pi. Which inverse is required? Minus 5 to minus 3 pi by 2. Minus 5 to minus 3 pi by 2. Which quadrant? Second quadrant. Second quadrant sec is positive or negative? Negative. So negative means in this manner. Next. Minus 5 by 2 to minus 5. Minus 5 by 2 to minus 5. Which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant sec is positive or negative? Negative. Take a negative values. In this manner, it takes the value. So this is the graph of the set function. Here, it repeats its value after 360 degree. How it is repeats? Just consider 0 to 360. 0 to 360. The same graph will carries. Here, half only exists consider. This half, the same half will carries. Is that clear? So, it is repeats its value after 360 degree. And, range which is of the domain. Domain is nothing but all the value plus of the odd multiple of pi by 2. And, domain is all the real number plus of the odd multiple of pi by 2. Range. What is the range of the set function? All the real number plus of the open interval minus 1 comma plus 1. Check it. Minus 1 is here. Plus 1 is here. Have taken any values in this interval minus 1 to plus 1 for the set function? E minus 1 to the plus 1 or the boundary void in this model. Here, there is nothing values is taken for pi in the function for set. Here, for the set, no values are taken. So, observe that there is no y values for the set in this interval. So, that reason, range of the function is set of all the real number as of the open interval minus 1 and the plus 1. Open interval is that the end points are excluded. That means 1 is there and minus 1 values is there. In the same manner, cosec graph will come. So, cosec. We can easily draw the graph of the cosec function. How it is? Dominant range little bit change. Here, cosec function domain is set of all the real number s of the integral multiple of pi bars. Range is same. Set of all the real number minus 1, 1. 
one centimeter which is shifted to right hand side that is the trick part of the cosec function now i just left the cosec function graph for the moment we just draw the graph of the cosec function if you have any confusion you just go to the ncrt textbook there is a particular graph of this function is that and all the six trigonometric function graph is that you can cross the by yes so these are the graphs of the trigonometric function so in the previous this video and the previous video we could have found more that what is the domain of the trigonometric functions what is the range of the trigonometric function and what is the graph of the trigonometric function domain range are very important for the further studies of the trigonometry graph is also important the at the first pc level this is just remember this graph and the second pc will come to know that or we will study more about this graph and the applications over on, on the graphs okay anyhow i just stop here we'll continue in the next video that is different point that is particular we can say that trigonometric equations trigonometric equations last point in the trigonometry okay i just stop here thank you